We are here today at Glenord Distillery introducing the new expression of the Epicurean Odyssey series. This is Singleton's 39 year old and this liquid is all about the craft of how we are using our knowledge of maturation and finishing to its best. Let me get this right. So the new make spirit, the white spirit, was filled into these different casks? No, it went through a first maturation. An ordinary European and American oak cast. They were then blended together. Basically, it was a long maturation. It was one of these um, sort of cast experiments we were doing, trying to understand different flavours you can get out from different types of casks. Every year we looked at it and think, well, should we just use these casks somewhere else? And then you think, no, let's just lose them for another week while longer. And eventually, actually, they've, they've lain for 27 years. 27 years in, 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 a, in, in a secondary maturation sure, cask. Sure. Have you been in the red wine cask? Yes, we used red wine cask and port wine cask yeah. and the PX Olorosa season cask. Yeah. And then we put them into the French Bordeaux cask to add another initial layer of flavour to the whisky. So it's quite a complex um, process, a process that we enjoy doing, you know, because playing around with casks is one of the main things we can do. Yeah, yeah. And so we're always looking for different ways to create something new.大家好,我是明石九十大师,也是全球的唯一一名的华人石九十大师。深色的，成熟一点的，带一点点果干的那种黑色水果的感觉。To a very dense nose, very complex. I'm getting trace of toffee. The fruits are there. Yeah, I'm getting almost like stewed apples. Yeah, lovely, mouth-filling texture. Again, sweet overall. And then drying very elegantly. It's very dry. I'm getting left in the palate what I term as the sort of European oak flavour, especially at Sherry Castle. So you get that sort of. Very nice tanning touch on the palate. Yeah. yeah. I've got a lingering aftertaste of like red fruits. Yeah. Mm, goes on and on and on. Yeah,非常忠实的表达刚刚我们在嗅觉里面所感受到的。所有的新香料跟优质的木质气味在第一段舌尖碰舌中的部分就完全呈现了。And you get that sort of creaminess, you know, the top of your, the roof of your palate. It's extraordinary, because it still retains a freshness, even at this, at this uh, 39 years old. Very nice bottle hint, yeah. Now I'm always getting like almost like a nutty flavour left in the palate. You know, like hazelnuts, something similar like hazelnuts. Nutella. I had a bit of a crunchy, but very nutty, but also a little bit of a little creamy feeling. It's more exciting for the blenders to be able to explore and experiment. And of course they are experiments, and some of them, you know, may, may not work. Um, but the ones that do work very well. It explores new ground, and that's, of course, Maureen. She's a great experimenter. Mr. Charles McLean有提到的,這個危險性是很高的。我想不是在一個有經驗的這個調配師的主導之下,或者有決心的這種類型的酒廠,甚至於洋酒集團的主導之下,可能這種實驗是沒有辦法做完的。it's all about what we did with flavour. But I'm saying we're kind of still experimenting. As master blenders, we are relying on our expertise. The people out there um, say, why do you put old whiskies into finishing casks? You know, that's our big dress. And, uh, but then again, we're there to experiment. Because if we don't experiment today, what are we going to do in the future? <laughs> <laughs>